Welcome back to a brand new video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install RPCS3, the PS3 emulator, and set up Skate 3 in it from start to finish. This is available for Windows, Linux and Mac, so you can set this up on whatever system you have. For me, I'm going to download the Windows version. I'm going to move this over to my local disk, drag it to that folder. And I'm just gonna run it. If you want to change, make desktop startups or start up menu thing, I mean, you can. What I'm gonna do now is head over to this Discord where the download link is. And what I'm gonna be installing from here as well is this all update packages so I'm gonna go to there first before anything and I'm gonna come to this plus 3.0 and I'm gonna download that I'm gonna hit download so that's the skate 3 update file which I'm actually gonna put in a folder there and then I'm also gonna come to the PS3 I'll put this in the description as well this link so once you come to this website, you're going to want to come to update using a computer. Just click on it. Download PS3 update. And it'll start downloading. While that downloads, I'm going to show you how to set up your controller in RPCS3 basically. So by default, it'll be set to keyboard. You can either use what I use, DS4 Windows. Sometimes Windows bugs with my controller. So I use this instead basically. So what I do is I run, or at least what I recommend is try DualShock 4 with just connect your controller, Bluetooth, you know what I mean. Use DualShock 4 if it doesn't, if you have issues, if it says not recognized or something, use X input and use DS4, which as soon as you open DS4, you press start down here, it will recognize your controller. So now I've got that out of the way. I can hit save and this is downloaded so I'm gonna put that there first thing I'm gonna do is come and install the firmware what I did forget to do was show you how to set up the configuration so leave this as it is interpreter I used to have this on 6, but I'm going to use 3. This, just scale it up to whatever you want. Leave this how it is. Async, I'm going to enable that and vsync. You can leave vsync disabled if you want, but enable this. Set this to X audio. I use surround, but you should leave it on stereo, but I use surround. If you have issues with audio, change this, but I'll leave it on 100. Advanced, disable that, enable this, set this to all timers, and that should be it. Now that that's all done, add game, come to wherever you've got your Skate 3 download, select folder, okay, and it'll say update available. You go install packages, and then wherever you put that update file that you downloaded before, open it. You'll see that change to 1.05. FPS might be low during starting your game, by the way. It's normally 60 or whatever you set the frame limit to during the game, and then cutscenes, it might go down to 30. What I'm gonna do as well is open up the save editor so I can unlock everything. So I unlocked everything with the tool obviously so I can use literally any hat here. Yeah, you can see it's running in like 30 FPS during cutscenes. But wait until I get into it. See, it's 60 FPS now as it's loading going into the game. And it will stay like that as I'm playing. As you can see, like right now, 30 FPS during the cuts. As soon as I'm back here, 60. So in this park, I'm at a solid 30 FPS, which I'm quite sure is normal. Alright, so I've been playing for about 
10, 15 minutes and I can say it's, other than cutscenes, it is a solid 60 FPS. There is no difference between playing this on the emulator now than there is playing it on the actual console. Obviously there is the online side portion of it, like you can't get access to EA Nation on here, but if you don't mind about that, you just want to play Skate Free, this is how you do it, so if you like the video, like it, subscribe, see you in the next one.